People from across the world are now weighing in on our state's HB2 law, possibly costing North Carolina more money and jobs. The controversial law was discussed by both President Obama and the UK Prime Minister today. This coming after the UK issued a warning to travelers heading to North Carolina. WNCT's Josh Birch reports. The people of North Carolina, Mississippi are wonderful people. They are hospitable people. They are beautiful states. And you are welcome. And you should come and enjoy yourself. President Obama on the defensive today, protecting two states in the country at the center of controversy for legislation some view as discriminatory against the LGBT community. But his message wasn't all positive. I also think that the laws that have been passed there are wrong. President Obama called on state lawmakers to overturn HB2, a law that's been protested ever since it was passed during a special session in March. Yesterday, British Prime Minister David Cameron warned people in his country about traveling to North Carolina, specifically those in the LGBT community. We make clear our own views uh, about the importance of trying to end discrimination, uh, and we've made some important steps forward in our own country on that front. The remarks were met with some pushback here locally. Senate leader Phil Berger called out the president saying not everyone has secret service agents protecting their daughters. Governor McCrory issued a statement respectfully disagreeing with the president's agenda to mandate changes to common sense restroom norms. The president's hopes are clear. I think it's very important for us not to send signals that anybody is treated differently. Josh Birch, 90 Your Side. State lawmakers return for their short session Monday in Raleigh. They will have the opportunity to make changes to the law if they'd like to.